Hello guys, today me and BetNet12 are going to show you how to make an elevator in Minecraft. So let's go check out your house, BetNet. So let's go check out. Dude! Oh, I didn't die, huh? I'm freaking amazing. I just made an epic jump, so I win. <laughs> I thought you were like flying in the air for a minute there, were you? No. Nah. Okay guys, because yeah. of lag issues, we're only going to run the elevator for a couple of seconds, so... Yeah, that's about good enough. Just to show you, you got, that it works, you guys, because on servers, pistons tend to laggy. If you guys didn't know that, so... Yeah. Okay, yeah. Do you like want... Ah, uh, okay. So no, let's just you like, get rid of that. Work. Yeah, so just go... Yeah, I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. I'm just gonna turn on this. No, wait, no, don't, don't worry. I'm, I'm already gonna work in. Oh, yeah. There you go. Here you go, it's in the proper spot now. Okay, that works. Uh, so. Yeah, turn so on it on the right. Wait. Turn on the right when I tell you to turn it off. Got it. I'll show you that it'll take you up to a higher level. I'm trying to not lag. Um, okay, on your signal. Okay, wait, let me turn my render. <laughs> this is like all the way down because you never yeah, know. Yeah, this is going to be like extreme okay, so lag. Let's turn it on, turn it on. Flip the switch. Okay. As you can see, I'm going up and turn it off then. Okay, guys, so oh. obviously that did take me up, so obviously it does work. It took me up about one level, so we can take it up to the top of the part. We, oh, have, this is very we, good. Have, an, we have another level built for yeah. PCW. So obviously, yeah, so it took me up here, like one layer, like the first floor. So this is very good for skyscrapers and stuff, but if you want to and like impress your friends and stuff, like you got an elevator. Yeah, and unlike the other other elevators, this one can use multiple floors. And you know, and I know of a way to make it work where you can have it starting and going done by a button, but that takes up so much extra space that we're not going to show it in the video. Yeah, so bet next. Let's get to making this thing. Let's start making it right over here. Yeah, okay. So the main part of this is the five clock system that we that I use to power. And pretty much it's just what it says the, the five clock system is pretty much just five redstone torches. Pretty much aligned in a line somewhat like this. Usually line not line like this. This right here, we'll put this right here, there it is. And so then you just do that. Okay guys, so just in case, you, I'm going to give you guys time to copy this down. So if you guys want to, guys are going to make this elevator, which we intend on you doing, uh, you can pause the video right now to copy the design of this. You can actually just use any clock really, but though, in my opinion, this is the clock that works the best. Yeah, so now you guys have time to deposit. So now, but now, what is the next step? Okay, I'm, I'm actually just going to go to go, go disable this right now. I'm going to go disable the clock because it might produce lag. It has in the past. And uh, we're just going to fake connect it over here to where we're going to have the uh, pistons. Well, no, we can have it connected actually. Just not a. I, I guess we just won't have it moving any blocks here. Really. That shouldn't be lag too bad. Okay, yeah, so you're going to have either like this or, re or reverse, if you, are you in free cam? Yes, I am. Okay, yeah, so you have it like this or in reverse order, and then it pretty much, if I put a block here, it would go up, right? Yeah. So, this elevator though does have one flaw, if it, if I could say it has any flaws whatsoever, is that it will only put, it will only go up to the thirteenth block, if I'm not mistaken. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, six, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I want to get the torch. And so if I put a block here, I put a torch here, it won't move it because we've hit the height limit, roughly speaking. And so you put a uh, yeah. So once you hit the hit the height limit. Um, that's the end of how high up the elevator can go. But, though, that does mean that you can, uh, make it go for pretty long distances as well. So, I'm just, so then the next thing that you would do is that you would, uh, get the 
It means that you still build the, uh, you build the, the key they do that. Hey, look at it, it did that glitch. Anyway. Okay, yeah. So then the, the next thing that you do is that you build the, uh, sky pistons, or the two pistons that are at the top. These are gonna be in, these are gonna be in reverse order of the ones that are on the ground. So basically, when this pushes it up, it should push it up to this one right here, and then this one will push it into this one, which will push it down. Thing, like in the following order, and then just keep going down, 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 down. Yes. And this one much. will push it back into that one, and just, you know, reverse the circle. So, or in like in a circle, so. Yes, but though I do, and, but though I suggest though is that you have a obsidian on hand if you can build this in um, single player because when you're, you're testing this out and you're, and you're building it inside of a building you don't want to have four obsidians to slow it in case it uh, glitches up and it moves it to the side rather than uh, pushing a whole bunch of blocks it will be stopped by the obsidian which that can save a lot of time yeah. right. here we go and so there we go, got that done. And so now you're just going to connect, yeah, just connect into the power, power source. Yes, and so pretty much yes, and so then the, uh, the best way to move redstone uphill is, in all honesty, just, uh, use a very old technique, which was done back in Alpha, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, it's just a whole line of, uh, redstone torches. It's a very compact way of moving redstone up, but it's, but it only works for going up, though. So do be careful whenever you're using it, and it and it inverts it every time, every time. So you have to be uh. So if you want to build it up at the current height, like my height, it's currently inverted. So I'm gonna have to uh, de-invert it just by simply doing this. There, now it's de-inverted. Uh, in all, in actual reality, you might, if you, uh, space everything properly, you might only need four repeaters, but though I would suggest having five or six on hand, though. Never I would suggest, I have, it's rare that I do, though, because I, I rely a lot heavily on torches. I only use repeaters for carrying on a circuit. Okay, right here. So now I'm gonna go con and I'm just gonna go connect this now. It isn't clock. Lagging. So this doesn't lag, but it's not really pushing it anymore. Well it does lag a little bit, but it's though it lags when you get close to it, is what I should, what should say. Yeah, so, so on SMT. Whoa, it's gonna now, we need to play uh, one of these and see if that doesn't It doesn't look like that'll work like that though. Yeah, you have to put uh, repeaters in there to time it. And now just a little test. Uh, I'm just gonna put that. Yep. Okay, okay so down. Yeah, so yeah, so um, down here, it uh works pretty much well. Oh, if I, if Are you lagging that? Yeah, I am. Which that's not very really good. But then I'm, I'm standing right no, next to lagging. it though. I'm standing right next to it, unlike you. So. Is it in there to zoom in? I don't know, give it that. Yeah, it looks like it's working pretty good. Well, yeah, well, yeah, pretty much. It'll just push that up. We've already proved that. I wanted to do it see if I could do it for the second time. But I couldn't. And which, yeah, which this one up here is already out of did. And I just proved it by having that block right there. And so, but the uh, w the major point of this though is that you're gonna be using fence gates, and which I'm just gonna turn this off because we don't need to have this on while we're um, doing this final part. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Jada, uh, if you wanna go show off the uh, redstone stuff, feel free. I'm redstone. just gonna get. Yeah, I'm just gonna go show. I'm just gonna go make a property. Thing. I'm just gonna do a little. I'm just gonna build a little uh, promo of why this is uh, so offensive. Of why fence gates are can be used for this stuff. Yeah. So why you build that? 
I'm gonna give them a little time in case catch up in case they miss anything. But yeah. Once you have your clock built like this, this clock right here, you're gonna start setting up your pistons right like this. So I don't know how to explain this. So if you guys need to copy this down, then you need to pause it right now. And then build one of these. The block, redstone torch, block, redstone torch, block, redstone torch. It keeps on going until it stops. Like we're 13 blocks up, I believe, or so. Um, no, the, no. That, the redstone that torch, stop? upon torch, upon torch, that goes for as many blocks as you want upward. Okay, well, so it's I have not, a bigger elevator. And it's the pistons that only go for 13 blocks in any okay. given direction. Okay. So, yeah, so you might have to have two of these elevators in one, in one spot if you want to have uh, anything bigger than a 13 by 13. Yeah. So, you guys, if yours isn't inverted or however, or is your, that one isn't lit, yeah. Yeah, you're going to yeah, like invert this, it like by ours, is placing it a piece of redstone and placing a brick or dust. Yeah, pretty much. It's really easy to invert something. So then once you have that inverted, just have your put a redstone torch there. Where you inverted it, if you did, and have redstone come down, and so then hopefully, yeah, and then have it connect your pistons up here, which he places like blocks that he places blocks up, so you can put pistons up here. So you can't place things in the air, obviously. So I'll give you guys time to copy down this, just in case you guys don't know. So you can pause. Let me try getting into position. So you can pause it, like, right now. Uh, so yeah, let's do a better thing right now. Uh, I'm just putting a final touch on this, which I just need to grab a, which I just need to grab a, uh, yeah, pretty much I'm just, just going to grab a fence gate, and I'm just going to go grab a door. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm just going to prove it. I'm going to do a proof of concept. Okay, I'm just gonna do a I'm just gonna do a 